Stephanie, knowing Trump as you do, are you surprised that he hasn't released whatever he has by now since, uh, from the reporting, in this case, there actually is some CCTV footage. Uh, it isn't just, you know, something he's pretending out of the ether. So I'm not surprised only because I don't think there is anything there. I think Donald Trump would have released it already. He, he doesn't listen to his lawyers. He doesn't listen to who's around him. If he wanted it released, it would be released right now. I think what we would see is hardworking FBI agents doing their jobs. I think that if there was video of them ransacking rooms or stealing items like Donald yeah. Trump has purported, that would be out there. Oh, yeah, without question. That's the reality. So, so you're going to put a video out of them looking professional. That doesn't serve his aims at all or fit with what he's, what he's accused them of. Gloria, Eric Trump says they're going to release the tapes uh, absolutely at the right time. Now, Eric Trump does not know what his father is going to do either. The question that this begs, though, is whether a release could backfire. I th look, I think a release could backfire, and I think that's why there's an internal debate about it, and I think that's why they haven't done it already. I mean, remember, at the beginning of all of this, there was talk about planted evidence. Ah, evidence was planted. Well, what would you see on the tape? Would you see FBI agents uh, planting evidence? I don't think so. Uh, but that could backfire because that was one of their stories uh, early on. Also, as Stephanie is saying, you could see hardworking FBI agents. Um, and I think the whole, you know, the whole point of this from the, from the Trump point of view is to show the president being a victim of an out-of-control government looking to get him. And so maybe they're waiting till they can put music to it or release it at a certain time during a campaign. Mm -hmm. um, so he would, again, look like a victim, and this would really rally the base around him. But illegally, since they were asked not to tape this, it could really backfire. Absolutely. And, you know, yeah, just to, to state the obvious, could completely backfire. Now, Ryan, right. I mentioned Mark Meadows. He was, according to the letter signed by then-President Trump on January 19th, 2021, uh, in charge of presidential records. Here we are. We know that everybody else who's senior who was involved has been interviewed in this investigation. We don't know about Meadows, whether he has or he hasn't. If he hasn't, obviously, could be very damning, could be a target himself, I, I suppose. Um, at this point, do you think they have spoken with him or not? That's a great question, um, because on that letter that you showed, he's listed first, and it's not in alphabetical order. Yeah. He's the, you know, point person. Uh, and just recently, the New York Times reported that he also ran the operation for what was going to be turned over to the National Archives in the last couple of weeks of the presidency. So if they have not spoken to him, I do think that he is in ser serious trouble, because it must mean that he's therefore a target, since they're speaking to everybody who's a witness to those operations. So it, it, this is very crucial, because they also mentioned, of course, other high-profile investigations in that affidavit. Stephanie, uh, it, when it comes to the affidavit itself, that, that the DOJ adamantly does not want released, Trump says he does want it released, that doesn't mean he actually does. He may just bet that it won't be, and he'll get credit for saying that he wants it to be. However, what do you think he plans to do with it if it comes out? Well, this will be his way to fact find. This will be his way to see what they were looking for, try to figure out who it was that uh, supposedly turned on him. This is going to be how he crafts his message next to then say how he's innocent, he's a victim, et cetera. He doesn't want it for transparency for the American people. I want to be clear about that. He wants it so he can make up more lies and BS. I'll just keep it PG right now. Um, I, I think transparency is important. I think it's vital. I want to see what's in the affidavit. But I also think right now keeping the integrity of the case is vital. And I also think it's really important that if there's a witness or witnesses who have cooperated, I think it is important that we, we keep in mind the rhetoric right now and we keep those people safe. Gloria, there could be a lot in this affidavit that Trump does not ever want to be made public. That's why I commented that he may be saying he wants it public, betting full well that it will never happen. Classified documents, right. Absolutely. And, and, and what was there? More information about what they were looking for or why they were looking for it, those other high-profile investigations. You've been talking to all of your sources about this. What are you learning? Well, I think I, I, one uh, former White House official made a point to me today that I, I think is very pertinent here, and Stephanie's a former uh, White House staffer. He said, look, 
if names in the affidavit are witnesses, um, and also there are people who were handling documents at the White House, if they were classified and they shouldn't have been handling those documents because they didn't have the security clearance, they now have legal exposure. And these may be people who were just staffers, who were moving things around, who, uh, you know, don't forget, it was chaotic at the, at the end of this administration. There are lots of people in the administration who are more worried about keeping Donald Trump in office than, than classified documents. But there may be other people who were trying to uh, get things in order, get things moved, whatever. And they now have a lot of legal exposure. And those are people that the FBI is, is uh, talking to or going to be talking to. And so there's a question about whether there are a lot of people involved here who, um, you know, who are inadvertently facing a lot of legal troubles. All right, Paul, thanks very much. I appreciate it.